Well, good morning. We're working on getting some corn dumped into the bin right now. We started filling up the dry bin again and we got about 5,000 bushels in there. That was good enough. Corn's pretty wet. It's uh, all of 25 to 30, so we're hoping it's gonna work all right. Calling for warmer temps later in the week, so that should help us with drying. Um, we're having trouble with the stirrator right now. Uh, what the stirrator does is there's got six screws that hang down and they mix up the corn as it dries. Stirrator, it goes around the bin on a track and there's a drive wheel that's wore out and it's not wanting to go. So we were planning on putting some more corn in the bin until that happened. Plus we got a pretty good rain shower coming. So I'm gonna see if dad needs any help. If not, I'm gonna go seed some rye before it starts raining. Dad's got things under control here, so I'm gonna go do that ride. So I've briefly mentioned that we've been having trouble with the 8400 losing oil, or uh, losing fuel prime after it sits for a while. It used to be if it sat for a day or two, it would cause us trouble, but now it's if it sits at all. We're trying to get it through this fall and then uh, send it to the shop and have them figure it out. But for now, what we gotta do is turn the key on and go pump the primer a few times and then it usually takes off but we're gonna get it fixed so this right here is the fuel primer and uh, how it works is it's kind of like a plunger and it pushes air out of the fuel lines I believe that's how it works it's hard on the fingers not a fun job especially when it's 30 degrees out but right now I can tell I've got air because it's not pressing firm so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Keep pushing on it till it gets firm, and it should start in theory. All right, I think I've got it primed up. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it'll start and run for about 10 seconds and then die. So if it runs longer than that, we should be fine. We're all right. So if anyone knows what might be the problem with this tractor, it's a 1995 John Deere 8400. Um, if you've had any similar experiences with it losing prime in the fuel system, we originally thought it was something in the fuel pickup. It used to be if it got down to a quarter tank, it would run itself out of fuel. But now it seems like it doesn't really matter how much fuel is in it. It'll run all day long as long as you keep it running. As soon as you shut it off for a couple hours, it'll lose prime. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know down in the comments. While we're warmed up good enough, let's go see if we can get this done. I wouldn't recommend drilling in the rain but this is just cover crop so we're not really worried about it being perfect plus we're going into uh, standing corn stalks so the corn stalk should protect the um, gauge wheels from getting too much dirt and mud built up on them so I think I'll be all right it's not raining too hard it's just kind of misty I've got a problem. Yep, we got a broken bolt or a missing bolt. I noticed the front set of uh, units wouldn't want to raise up all the way. 
and I noticed that middle part was flopping around um, I probably better not run it anymore I don't want it to break I might finish up this little spot that I got I just got a little bit left so I'm gonna have to fix that so I think when I lower the drill it actually lines those holes back up where that bolt goes through so I'm gonna drop it down here real quick go take a look see what that looks like it actually looks like it won't be too bad of a job I don't think I want to really do it in the rain so maybe I'll go find dad see what he's up to and uh, work on this maybe if we get a break in the rain so got a fair amount of rye done I don't know just not having very good luck with rye this year well, we're just kind of killing some time, waiting to see what this weather does. I got to run to the bank real quick. Um, I just thought I'd stop over here at one of the fields that we had rye flown on and see if it's doing anything yet. We haven't had very warm weather, so I'm not really thinking it'll be germinating yet, but eh, you never know. Well, it's starting to put a little bit of a root out. That's a good sign. I was uh, really hoping that it would at least get started growing over the winter. Otherwise, I don't think it'll do a whole lot next spring if it doesn't at least start, you know, now. It's still raining. I'm tired of waiting on the rain to stop. I'm gonna go try and get that drill put back together. I got two bolts for it. Um, I think I hate saying this, but I think it won't be too bad of a job. It looks like when I set it down, everything lined itself back up. So I might have to just use a punch and get everything close enough and then shove the bolts in, tighten them up, and I should be off and running, in theory. Well, I need to get that cleaned up a little bit, and I'm not near a power washer, so I'm just gonna scrape some off this pry bar. It looks to me like it's lined up pretty decent. I don't know, I might have a little bit of trouble. Sheared the head right off the top of the bolt. I'm trying not to get all full of grease, but I might not have a choice. There we go. Right or wrong, I'm replacing it with grade eight bolts, so shouldn't take too much longer to get her done. Well, my next issue is I think I bought too long of bolts. So I'm gonna see if I can find some washers in Grandpa's shed. He won't mind. Thankfully, he had some washers. Thanks, Grandpa. I'll just stack them in there and get by till I get the right size bolts. All done. If I knew how to read a tape measure, I'd have been done a long time ago. I'm just kidding, I know how to read a tape measure. Looks kind of silly with those washers, but we'll get the right size bolts and replace it and do it right, but this will get me going for now. Well, we got that back together. I'm gonna fire the tractor up and see if we can finish this rye. I probably ought to pump on the primer a little bit. Make sure we don't have trouble. Because if you actually run this thing out of fuel, it's really hard to get it running again. Feels all right. Let's 
see how the drill looks when I raise it up. That's better. Well, here we go. Those two grade eight bolts were $10 a piece. And if I would have got the right size, it maybe would have only been nine. I really messed that one up. I got that hill done. I guess I never really explained what I'm doing. We get some rye. We actually just started doing this last year, but we've got a bunch of sand hills, like beach sand, blow sand type stuff in our fields. And we go out and uh, drill rye on top of those hills. And what we're trying to do is just keep the sand from blowing away for one, by establishing some sort of plant and a root structure in the soil. And also, we don't till it at all, and we just leave it. We'll come back in the spring and kill it off. And we're hoping to just kind of build some organic matter over time and maybe make some better soil out of it. But that's what we're doing. Uh, this is probably our sandiest farm. It's got, let's see, one, two, basically three good-sized sand ridges on it. And, uh, I got two of them done already, so I'm gonna do the last one over here, and I think that'll probably be about it for now. The rain is slowing down, and it's kinda looking like the sun could try and come out, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. So if that does happen, we might go try and pick some corn. They're over there working on the bin right now. They should have that back together. I'm gonna go check and see how much seed I've got left. fair amount left. Looks like a little bit of water got in the drill. I think if I get it emptied out today it shouldn't cause me too much problems. Anyways, I should have enough to finish this. That's an acre counter right there. It says I've done 25 acres, but I forgot to reset it. So I did about seven acres and then reset it. So that's 32. And I should have enough to do a little under 40 acres. So I got a ways to go yet.
this 8400 is way too big for this drill, but it's what we had available. Well, we're done on this farm. We're gonna move down the road. I got one more I wanna do, and that should just about empty out the drill. We actually got another bag, um, another mini bulk of rye that we're probably not gonna end up using just because it's getting kind of late. Now, I, I really would ideally like to have had this rye in like a month ago, but the weather just hasn't really cooperated and we've been really busy with harvest and I just, every little chance I got, I couldn't really get away to do this. So, it's getting done now. I've heard stories of people doing rye in December and it does just fine. I think as long as we get a few warm days and the rye germinates and at least kind of starts to grow this winter, we'll be all right. We'll let it get some good growth in the spring before we kill it off. But we had too many bulks for sand hills. We're just gonna do the one, so. I hate to put it all on the ground and waste it in case it doesn't grow. I think I've got enough for about seven acres and I'm thinking there's going to be about 10 here that I need to do so I'm going to turn the drill down just a hair. That should work. Well, this is the field that was in the last video where we saw the eagle, so maybe I'll see it again. That'd be cool. Not a nice day. It's been rainy and misty all day. We were really hoping to get some corn picked, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. If we do, it'll be pretty late this evening. But uh, they got our sturator fixed in the bin. Dad said we could uh, go ahead and dump those trucks in later on. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see what the weather does. If it would kind of quit this crap, we could go out and maybe uh, pick a few more loads but we'll see. Well, this drill doesn't have a monitor, so I gotta go uh, check and see how much I got when I'm getting close to being empty. So I'm gonna stop up here and go see. I probably won't have enough to finish this, but it's not a big deal. I got the main part that I wanted to get done, done. But uh, let's go check it out. empty at this end I'll just scoot some over I'll just finish this little area where I'm at and that should get the drill good and empty So I'm standing in a wet area of this field. It just seems like this spot is always wet, no matter what the conditions are. And I heard on a podcast, I don't remember which one it was, but there was a guy who claimed, and I'd never seen anything or read anything else about this. It's just going off of what he said. He believes that a growing stand of rye, you know, green, not killed off in the spring, but a growing stand of rye, will do just as good or better than a tile system. So I've got just a little bit of rye left in the drill. I think I'm gonna try and plant this and just see what happens next spring because we never get a crop off of it because it's too wet. You can see here, I mean, it's just bare. There was no corn out here. It maybe made five bushel if that, but I'm gonna go through here and 
see if I can get it done. It might be a little sticky, but I should be able to get through it. Hopefully I don't get the drill all gummed up with mud. Cutting a little bit of a track. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm just gonna do it. All right, well that's done. It uh, might not have been my best idea, because it was uh, a little muddier than I thought, but it's done nevertheless. Uh, we'll see what it looks like next spring, I don't know. I figured it's worth a shot. I uh, kind of mudded up the drill, but I got it in the ground in these corn stalks. They kind of help wash the gauge wheels off a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna head for home, it's getting dark. Well, I really woke up this morning with the full intent of picking corn, but this rain kind of moved in a little bit bigger than we thought, so it didn't really work out, and it also stuck around a lot longer than we were thinking it would. So we didn't get any corn picked today, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna head back home and see what Dad's got going on. Shut my thermal drive off. At least I got the ride done, didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but like I said, it's getting kind of late, so I did kind of what we felt comfortable with. Did the major areas, the big sand hills, that really needed it the most. Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell next to